Okay, the last three days, I have been so clumsy. In the morning, at night, when I'm sober, when I'm drunk, like doesn't matter. I don't know what it is, like, am I ill? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a beloved recipe from my book, the grapefruit olive oil cake, a cake that requires very little effort. I'm not really like a big multi-layer, multi-step cake girl. I just don't really have time for it. Loaf cakes tend to be really easy, just like dump, stir, bake, slice, eat cakes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dump, stir, bake, slice, eat. The ingredients that you'll need for this recipe, eggs, a classic, Greek yogurt, baking powder and soda, granulated sugar, flour, roasted pistachios, and olive oil. It's one of the main ingredients in this recipe, and so you wanna make sure you're using the best olive oil. The flavor of it is gonna really shine through in this cake, so you have gotta choose a good one. Oh, and then citrus. It's citrus season right now. We're gonna go forage for some citrus in my backyard, and we're gonna see what we come back with. Hello. Do you wanna forage for citrus with us? Sure. Over this away, I'm thinking we do a mix of citrus, so I'm gonna grab some Meyer lemons. We have so many. This is what an apron is for, citrus collector. How fun is that? If that doesn't spark joy, I really don't know what does. So classic, pretty standard, one bowl for your dry ingredients, another bowl for your wet ingredients. At the last minute, you combine them and then you pour them in the pan. So the dry ingredients in this recipe, two cups of flour, basically overfill it. Take something like a bench scraper and you just level it off. One cup and then we'll do it again for the second. So there's two cups. Half a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. And then two teaspoons of kosher salt. Okay, so we whisk our dries really easy. Set them aside. We're going to infuse the sugar with our citrus zest. So it's one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And then the recipe calls for two tablespoons of grapefruit zest. I'm gonna do a mix here. So I did the zest of a sumo, just go for it on the zest. Doing the zest of this Meyer lemon, and then we have our grapefruit. And then we're gonna do more zest in the glaze that comes later on. Okay, so zest, lots of zest. You're gonna use your hands here, and you're gonna massage the sugar into the zest. You're really coaxing flavor out here. All right, three eggs. You can throw them in all at the same time. So now we're just gonna whisk these in until it's like light and fluffy and pale yellow. Beauty. And then a half a cup of full fat yogurt. So this is Greek yogurt. Okay, so then the last ingredient before we incorporate is olive oil. You need to use a really high quality olive oil. I'm using California Olive Ranch extra virgin olive oil. This is the medium, smooth, and balanced. This is a great brand and one that is widely available. I don't necessarily want like a really peppery oil in a cake when we're thinking about the context of like a citrus cake. So now we're whisking the oil in and you can see it's like pretty homogenous now. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add our citrus. The recipe calls for a half a cup of grapefruit juice. I'm gonna do a half a cup of just mixed citrus juice because we can. Look at these beauties. Look, I just can't believe that these came from my trees. This is a citrus reamer and measuring cup combo situation, which is kind of awesome because um, then you don't have to pour it into a measuring cup and it catches the seeds as it goes. I'm pouring it straight in. And then I'm gonna add the dry ingredients and then whisk it in. At this point, you wanna be kind of gentle when flour comes in contact with liquid, that's when gluten forms, and the more you work it, the tougher it can get. Okay? Okay, so straight into the loaf pan. It may overflow an eight and a half by four and a half, so make sure that you measure it inside edge to inside edge. And then we go in the oven, 350. Okay, so while the bake cakes, <laughs> ah! <laughs> while the freaking cake bakes, we're going to make the powdered sugar glaze. This is a pretty lazy glaze, I'm not gonna lie. Three quarters of a cup powdered sugar. Get some more zest in there. And then it's just a couple of tablespoons of juice. And you always wanna start with less than you think you need because you can always add more juice, but you can't take it away. So you're looking for like a pretty thick consistency. You wanna err on a little bit of the thick side, especially if you glaze it while it's still warm because then that's gonna melt it down quite a bit. 
So this is kind of the consistency we're going for. And then a pinch of salt. And we'll wait until the cake is cooled to glaze it. I think we need to come over here and look at my cake. I opened the oven, and as soon as I closed the oven, the cake sank, and now has a butt crack. I'm going to make another one, because I don't like failure. So the cake that we baked is now cool. It's an important step um, in ensuring that the glaze doesn't fully fall off. And then you peel away the parchment. We're gonna glaze, and then we're gonna finish it with finely chopped pistachios. I wonder if this is gonna look bad if the platter is the same color as the glaze. Okay, switching it up. Oh. Way better. We're just gonna go ahead and drizzle this. It's gonna settle itself out, and you can kind of scooch it around once it's on there. Oh my god. And then lastly, finely chopped pistachios. It goes from humble to elegant, just like that. Let's let it find its light for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and have myself a slice of cake. You can see how moist this is. Moist like an olive oil cake should be. And the reason that olive oil cakes are so moist is because olive oil is liquid at room temperature. Like if you think about pouring a bottle of olive oil, it's fluid at room temperature, whereas butter is solid at room temperature. So the mouthfeel of an olive oil cake is, a, is much wetter than a butter cake. And so that's why people make cakes with olive oil. Mm. Oh. oh, honey. You want a little? So delicious. So rich and bright. Just a really fucking good cake. I mean, frankly, I think that I have a really big week right now and I'm a little overwhelmed by it. Are we rolling? <laughs> <laughs> this is the good shit. <laughs>